So this is called a transfill hose. It fills oxygen tanks. It transfers, rather, oxygen from one tank to the other. So the thing about this tank is, or this uh, hose is, um, it doesn't matter which tank is smaller and larger. The oxygen will flow from the tank that has the higher pressure. So if this tank has 1,000 PSI and this tank only has 500 PSI, then we'll fill from small to large. If the inverse is true, then it will fill from large to small, okay? And so what we do is we take the transfill hose. This is a medical to medical. It has a pressure gauge on it so you can see the pressure in the tank that you put this particular side on. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and connect this here. And I'll use the corkscrew to tighten it down there. And then I'm going to use this here. I do recommend doing this in a place where your oxygen tanks are not going to fall or get away from you. So I've got both tanks connected here now. And I'm going to open this tank again. And what you'll see is the gauge pops up, shows me how much oxygen is in there. Um, and then if I open this tank, it'll fill from the tank that's fuller to the tank that's less full, okay? And I'm just gonna slowly open that. What it tells me, because I didn't hear any hissing, any moving transfer of oxygen from one tank to the next, is that these tanks are relatively similar in the pressure that they have. Um, but that's how it would work once you're done filling the tank that you want to fill. You're going to close both valves and you're going to remove the transfill hose. It will hiss as it releases the oxygen that's in the hose. Not dangerous. When you fill, you want to fill slowly. Um, there are laws to filling oxygen in each state, so you'll want to observe those laws. You may or may not be able to, to do this in the state where you live legally. Um, so just be aware of that. I'll show you one other uh, tank, and that is how to fill from a medical tank to an industrial tank. Okay, so we have a medical to industrial transfill hose here. Transfill hose really just trans, or fills from one tank to the other, transfers oxygen. Uh, so we need to connect these both up before uh, we fill. So I'm gonna take the medical tank and I'm gonna slide this over the stem, make sure it's lined up properly. It'll kind of slide right into place when it is. And it has to be at 90 degree angle, so it's not cockeyed or anything. And then I'm just gonna tighten that down on there. And then when that's done, I'm gonna make sure I don't knock this tank off. <laughs> and I'm gonna take and I'm gonna connect it up here, push that in, slide the nut down. And when it's uh, at a 90 degree angle, I can just finger tighten this. Okay, and then I'm gonna take my wrench, crescent wrench here and just Make sure it's tight enough. I'm gonna give it a little extra turn. <clears throat> now, um, this will fill again from the tank that has higher pressure to the tank that has lower pressure. So if my small tank has higher pressure than my large tank, I'll actually be taking oxygen out of this little tank and transferring it into this big tank, okay? But if this has more pressure, then it will be filling into the small tank. So, all right, so when we open the valve here, it will register what we have in our tank. <clears throat> and to fill, we simply open the tank with less pressure, slowly. And as it fills, we can open it a little bit more, a little bit more. And and ultimately, we, we just need to give it a few turns of whichever one we're filling. Um, and it will, it will fill, it'll take, you know, depending on the size of the tank, 
It'll take 20 to 30 seconds maybe, uh, maybe up to a minute if you do it really slow um, to fill the tank. You'll actually feel the tank heat up as the oxygen goes into that. Um, to shut this process down and to uh, remove the transfill hose, we need to shut both tank valves. And then we're going to hear some oxygen escape. That's normal. Don't be freaked out about it. Now, if you've left the valves open, you'll hear a lot of oxygen escape. Um, quick little note, there's a little rubber washer in here. If that falls off, you're going to get uh, a lot of oxygen escaping. When you hook these up, it won't seal properly. And you need to just make sure that that rubber washer is, is in there. If you lose one, um, you can get them from us. Uh, but that's all there is to uh, transferring oxygen from one tank.